following on in my psychic attack series and talking about the signs that you might experience if you're being psychically attacked. So for this really it's about tuning into your body. Your body is the go-to, your first line of defense and the responses will usually come from your body to tell you if you're under threat. So generally the a one of the first signs that you might be experiencing psychic attack is a fear response from your body and what that can look like is a fight flight or freeze response so you might even feel tension in your body or just a general feeling of being threatened um, you could also experience a fight response like you're gearing up to go into battle you need to defend yourself or a flight response where you just feel so much fear that you need to run off in the opposite direction screaming your head off or indeed a freeze response where everything completely shuts down your mind goes blank you can't think of anything you can't think of anything to say it's like a complete shutdown and reboot of your system that can also happen um, as the body detects the threat and then um, decides what's the best response to defend yourself against it. So with psychic attack we're talking about the unseen so it's not necessarily something that you're gonna see coming your way it is psychic it's energy um, so the body will let you know first off if there is anything amiss and something to look out for. Um, and n another sign that you might be experiencing psychic attack is a general feeling of dis-ease or an uneasiness in your sacral chakra. So kind of like a gut feeling where you feel like, oh, something isn't right. Um, another uh, sign that you might be experiencing psychic attack is you just feel, you feel like you've been attacked. So there mightn't be anybody around or you might have been in contact with people a person, a group, something like that and either during the conversation or after the conversation you feel rattled, you feel attacked, you feel unsettled, you just feel like oh that was a awful experience either during or after. Could also be an indication that psychic attack has occurred. Um, another sign that you might have been psychically attacked is having sleepless nights. You can be psych psychically attacked while you're sleeping and in dream time as well you might find it difficult to uh, fall asleep or you're constantly waking up from your sleep um, if you're experiencing psychic attack another sign that you might be experiencing psychic attack is um, a sudden onset of feelings such as anxiety fear despair self-doubt and I mean these just come on totally out of the blue and it seems like they are totally out of context and they can feel really overwhelming when they happen um, there might be any trigger that you can see of see or that you can tell but you're just suddenly paralyzed completely paralyzed with feelings of fear despair self-doubt anxiety or panic Feelings along those lines um, could also be a sign that you're experiencing psychic attack. Another indication, um, another sign could be that you have uh, a sudden thought that just pops into your mind totally out of the blue, out of the character, out of your character, out of character for you, <laughs> I mean, um, that tells you to harm yourself or harm other people so you could just be walking along after a day at work or something by a busy road and all of a sudden you hear the thought throw yourself in front of the bus that is also another indication of a psychic attack um, yeah so those are the main ones that I can think of 
Um, I also, when I was thinking about writing up the materials for this video, I was kind of thinking, well, the signs of psychic attack are very similar to being triggered or triggering a trauma response. So I was asking Spirit, well, what's the difference? How can you tell if it is indeed psychic attack or if you're just being triggered um, old trauma is being triggered or an old painful memory is being triggered how can you tell the difference and Spear pretty much said that the difference is in the timing and the feelings of it that psychic attack and triggering an old uh, trauma feels different so what, by that I mean um, when you're psychically attacked you might feel confused because you don't know what's happening and then as I mentioned you'll feel you might feel feelings of fear anxiety despair and confusion because uh, again you don't know what's happening but you're feeling attacked and unsettled and then it's only after you've processed the event will the trauma set in you might feel sort of traumatized by what's happened if you've been triggered um, and it's triggering a trauma response it'll be feel like it'll feel a little bit different like a switch has been flicked in that you'll feel different emotions so you might feel powerlessness powerlessness or out of control or uh, feelings of despair but you'll also feel the trauma the traumatized feeling at that moment there and then straight away all those emotions will just come up straight away um, so it's a little bit different, but then I also thought well you could be psychically attacked and that could trigger a an old experience of being psychically attacked as well So there is that to consider it could be a range of things Which I thought was interesting um, But overall those are the main signs of being psychically attacked um, just a general uh, overview um, you usually feel quite confused because you might be alone when it happens and not know what's going on because as I said it's an energy attack an attack on your energetic field um, which can be very unsettling if you can't see what's coming at you what's attacking you um, so it can be very confusing uh, I'd love to know if any of you have experienced any psychic attack and if you have different signs uh, please let me know in the comments below um, my next video is going to be on how to protect yourself against psychic attack because you are no, by no means defenseless uh, so I'll do uh, a little bit of a video on that and different techniques that you can use to defend yourself, protect yourself, to put in energetic boundaries um, in order to empower yourself um, for you to decide what energy you uh, want to allow in your energy field. So if that is of interest, um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and watching and until next time, bye.